Southern Virginia Artisan Center with Brian Tucker. Brian is one of our pottery instructors. Today, what will you be doing for us, Brian? Um, today, I'm going to put together a uh, mix and pour bowl, and um, essentially a type of bowl that you would use to uh, make pancakes or mix up a batter that you would pour um, scrambled eggs for omelets, uh, things of that nature. What technique are you using? This is the wheel thrown technique. And um, right now, as you see, I've got the clay pretty much centered. And now we're going to find center bottom and uh, establish the thickness of our bottom. And open it up. I'm trying to maintain a relatively flat bottom. center up everything here. When this is completed, about how large will the bowl be? It'll, probably, it'll be about a, um, about a quart and a half bowl once completely fired. Um, usually you got to throw uh, these things bigger than what they're going to be finally because um, most, most clay will shrink up 12% from wet clay to final product. From beginning to end, how long does this take normally? <clears throat> a bowl like this would usually take somewhere in the neighborhood of three or four minutes to actually throw, but then you have uh, you know firing time, drying time, firing time. Uh, if you're going to bisque fire, uh, there's you got a bisque fire to get it ready for glazing. Some people um, do one fire, and you, that you'd have to spray on your glaze. But, uh, and right now what I'm doing is I'm compressing the bottom. And compressing the bottom, what that does is uh, helps it keep a sound structure. It keeps it from cracking during firing. What temperature will you be firing this bowl? And this, this is a, a medium fire uh, clay. It will um, go to 2185 degrees. Are you going to fire this with the electric kiln? Yes, I will fire this with an electric kiln. Are what tools are you using today? I'm using a wood rib for compressing the bottom, sponge, and, uh, and then eventually I'll use, when I finish up, will be a, a wooden trim tool to even out the bottom around the outside edge. And like right now, you know, I'm just applying water to the outside, using my finger as a wick, and then a little water down on the inside rim. I want to get this slick so when I go to pull, I won't tear the pot right off the, off the bat. And the bat is the board that we throw on. surface of this bowl going to be smooth or are you going to have texture? <clears throat> I'll, I'll probably, uh, for this purpose, it'd be with a smooth um, finish on this, on the clay itself and then the glaze. I, I would use something since it's functional. Um, I would use a, a glossy glaze that um, spoons Spoons on matte finishes really have a screechy chalkboard sound, although they do look pretty. Coffee mugs you can use because you need know, uh, a matte glaze on. So um, essentially that's that. And I will trim the outside bottom. Beginner students, the first time working with clay, could they do this bowl, or would they need? I would say by the end of the class, they could. Um, they could, absolutely. It should be because um, uh, the first thing that they're going to uh, really learn once they get into the wheel throwing process, 
the very first part of the class is to um, center the clay. Is, and that's, that's the key. Once you get the clay centered, um, it's pretty much up to your imagination what you can do with, with the clay itself. It's hard, to, it's hard to wrestle something that's completely out of center. And that's exactly what you'd be doing is wrestling with it. Well, thank you very much, Brian. We've enjoyed seeing you work with the wheel. Thank you. We hope to see you all taking classes.